Exiting the Christian Egregore Your exit from the Christian Egregore does not mean that your child did the same. If he was baptized, then at the time of baptism, typically according to the ritual, the biological parents lose their rights over the child, and those rights are passed to the godparents. Therefore, at some point, he would have to go through the ritual of debaptism on his own, of course, if he chooses to. But as of now, you can't do it. If you baptized him, then it is a one-way ticket. After that a human free will will be the one to matter. On the other hand, you can make it easier for him if, first of all, you won't participate, and secondly, none of your relatives, including the godparents, will drag him to mandatory ritual events such as confirmations, communion, confession, and other aggravating rituals. If the one who tries to leave the Christian egregore is a godparent, does it make the situation worse? Or is it necessary to pay for your godson's debts? This is in the context of my answer. In this case, more so, even though you are leaving the Christian egregore, you, as a warrior, have no right to abandon your obligations, and if you have ever participated in a child's baptizing ceremony, acting as his godparent, then you must understand that you are now more his parent than even his biological parents, and you leaving the Christianity does not relieve you from these obligations, but on the contrary, it even strengthens them, because now this rule becomes mandatory for you to follow. How do godparents usually treat their godchildren. Well, what's done is done, not a big deal, in reality it matters. You would have to care for and raise a child as your own, even more consciously, knowing that these are the commitments you once made, and they must be fulfilled, even though the one whom you swore to is no longer your suzerain. But those are the obligations to a person who depends on you, in some way, to an even greater extent than before.